Hello guys, welcome to today's episode of Uchendimbo. Uchendimbo, like we always say, is a series we started to help as many as who seek true cosmological knowledge to find information that will help them clear their doubts as regards our spirituality and cosmology and then go from being Ofeke to becoming Omalo after taking part in the necessary rites of qualification. Now, this series is very educative and we hope that after watching today's video, you will not only give us a thumbs up, but we also share this video with your friends. Having said that, and without further ado, let's get to today's topic. Today's topic is titled, Guinea Bofo, What is the Ofo? Now, there are sayings in Igbo land such as, Ofo ka ididi This translates to, the earthworm is able to break open or burrow into the earth because it has or wields the Ofo. There are other sayings, thus, this translates to everyone claims to wield the offer, but only the offer knows who truly wields it. And then there is another saying which goes thus Gala. He who wields the offer will successfully reach their destination. There are names in Igbo land that are tied to the offer. Some of those names include Ofo Buike, which means Ofo is strength. Another name says Ofo Dum, which means led or guided by the Ofo or accompanied by the Ofo. So this simply means that this person is saying that the Ofo is what leads, guides or accompanies them in their daily living. Now, having said these few things, you will begin to see that the Ofo plays a very, very important role and part in Igbo spirituality and cosmology. In fact, if you ask an Igbo person today, what is the Ofo? The Igbo man will tell you that the Ofo is a symbol of justice. Why do they perceive the Ofo as a symbol of justice? That is what this video is all about. First off, Ndi will see the Ofo as the symbol of true justice for reasons that are not far-fetched. This is because in the word Ofo, there is the root word for, which basically implies continuity. For simply means that something will always leave a portion or part of itself to remain, and from there it will regenerate and replenish, hence becoming inexhaustible. This is why many types of Ofo are handed down from generation to generation ensuring that no matter what happens, so long as there is a hand to wield that offer, every contract sealed with that offer stands. Hence, those who default will either have their offspring pay the price or reincarnate back to clear their debts. Now, with this in mind, the Igbo person tries not to default on any agreement because not even death will set them free as they will surely reincarnate back to face the consequences of their actions and cannot escape justice in any way. One may now want to ask why the Ofo is regarded as a staff of authority. Well, this is because the Ofo grant so ever wields it the access to realms, dimensions and signals that are of higher consciousness. This is basically contained in the esoteric name of the Ofo, which is Akutule. Akotule means the device with which one prospects higher realms. Hence, the Ofo can be seen as a remote with which one accesses the features programmed into the hardware the Ofo is tethered to and to the energy fields or signals which such hardware can access as well. When you see the Ofo as a remote device, one may wonder what hardware the remote controls. Well, here, we are talking about biological hardware such as Okuchi, Okuago, Okualosi, Okundimiri, Obindichie, etc. And these offer are usually named after those forces using the, those biological hardware to operate. Hence, Ofochi, Ofago, Ofondichie, Ofondimiri, etc. 
like every remote device which grants the wielder access and authority to control the corresponding hardware linked to the remote, or for is perceived as a staff of authority because it is used to activate an interface with these higher dimensional forces who without the offer cannot be invoked or swiftly called into action. Fun fact, the offer, like every remote, has sensors, batteries, features such as voice activation, fingerprint unlock, and even other cool features that today's remote lacks as well. Please note that the offer is used with the left hand and is struck on the earth or water to seal a deal between humans in the presence of spirits, to seal a deal between humans and spirits, to ensure justice, equity, and fairness, and it is also used to activate or send signals to other dimensions or to call upon forces from other dimensions when need be. Well, we hope that you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, kindly hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and turn on your notification bell so that when we drop other amazing contents such as this, you will be notified. Please follow us on all our social media platforms at Ikenga Nation. Until we come your way next time, Odarije Mona Kemesiano, the bye.